He's thinking, he's thinking, he's protecting. He stands poised at the door of the new king. He knows that the current royalty, those bred little rats who tried to kill the king. Now the Masons have been trying and failing. They've realized that special forces bear just seems to never die. He just gets away sometimes. Sometimes. And other times, well, he gives instead of going away. And now he's protecting he is protecting the new king. The new king of England. And he knows, he knows inside them them soldiers that stand in front of that gate of his house. His king's house. The dudes with the funny hats. The phallic symbols. The lack of. Yes. He knows that those weak people will try to come kill his king. And he's just waiting. He knows why the Bible changes. He knows why Queen Elizabeth's name is in the Bible. It's never been there in his world. Special Forces Baird never remembered ever her name in that King James Bible. And he knows that the changes are coming. And it might be because of his new king. His new king, the descendant of the King of Wales, is now a fully trained machine. Trained in every trade, language, peoples. The real king. The king that lived amongst his people, worked with his people, saw and helped and saved with his people. Now, Special Forces Bear has no choice but to protect his king. Now, they're trying to deny and laugh at the new king. They will ignore, they'll ignore. The Special Forces Bear knows a lot about blood because um, he sees it daily, several times. Well, not at all. Sometimes he's drinking and he get kind of, well, women. They're like, if you got to stitch something, I don't know. Not all the time. But Special Forces Bear knows he's got to protect his king. And he's doing it alone. And his king will go back to back with him and they will fight together to get the palace which belongs to him. It belonged to his great grandfather. And now this grandson is ready to go in and slap that fanny, that old fanny. He'll slap that old fanny and says, uh, honey, you're gonna you're gonna have to step down. He, he's legit. You're gonna have to get out now. I will bring your diaper. We got the depends. We got your depends. Come on. I you're not the queen. You're like a uh, an extra old queen or something. We'll give you a little title in like a room or something. You can watch. No, we'll keep you away from children. No, we'll give you dogs. Oh, he knows. He knows it's gonna be hard. Them two boys, them evil boys of theirs. He'll have to take them out. He'll make them laugh. And he'll slice his sword in the air. And they're like relatives. You gotta just fake them out a little bit. And then they get mad. They come at him. He will grab their ears or toes, spank them. Just, you know, spoil little brats. Kick them on their way. The kin. Fuck. Can't kill kin. But you sure make them work for a living, I'll tell you that. They'll work real hard watching laundry down at the riverside. 
along with all the relatives over there. I don't like it. And the rock stars and the actors I don't like. And oh, shot. Damn, it's gonna be a big river. Oh well, this is Special Forces Bear signing off, protecting. He does what he has to do to bring about a new world without corruption, without lying and deceit and greed. He will protect the new king. <laughs> He might dance a little bit too, cause it's gonna be groovy as fuck, man. There'll be a lot of chicks. And, but it probably won't be no fighting. It's just gonna be a lot of arguing and proving shit with like blood samples and DNA tests. But he knows this can't go be in there and have a good time. He's gonna be in there with him. Ladies. Whoa. Oh yeah. I'm the king. England. Let me turn this down a little bit. Oh, they're working their way back to you, man. Yeah, you're working their way back to me, all right. I'm, hold on. Ah, getting better. I'm getting used to these guys. Give me some time. <laughs> you know, I got a lot of papers to sign. Fuck, there's gonna be a lot of papers to sign, probably. I got a lot of property now. Fuck, I've only ever worked, like, for a non-profit in a little museum. And I got a house. I raised two kids by myself. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be crazy, man. I, I used to, like, I, my son's friends and my daughter's friends when they were growing up. I took care of all of them. I had ten years of fucking foul chastity, right? Uh, so maybe this is my mom's way of giving me a reward. Because she came back that second time, if you had watched my first video, you know what I'm talking about. I'm the king of England. Found out that my great-grandfather, great-great-grandfather was the Prince of Wales, and my biological, biological grandfather uh, lives in uh, Arizona and uh, lived there. And so anyway, my mom left her children to go find this man. Now therein lies question. If you have Mandela, or you think you have Mandela, you fucking bottom jumped here. Or you're just experiencing the changes like everybody else. If you're getting off narcotics, if you want to get off narcotics, if you could just practice getting off narcotics, you come here, you smoke a little shim with me, and we have fun talk. We talk. We get entertained. Now, what I'm telling you guys is true. And so, when I tell people stories about my life, now in the Mandela world, people laugh. Because they're fucking true, so... Maybe the way I tell it, I don't mind. If you want to laugh, laugh. I'm laughing with you. <laughs> so, it lies. The question is, how? And I, I look at my site, and there's a lot of mothers out there. A lot of mothers. A lot of mothers watching me now. So, you moms have to stop and ask yourself this question. Okay? I'm going to smoke this for people getting off marijuana. Matt, light it up. Butter. Matt, light it up. It's time to smoke. That's a bet. <laughs> like myself. This guy, I'm not going to say anything more today. I don't want to give his last thing because he's staying silent. <laughs> he was like me. And he worked hard to get himself off opiates. Really hard. And if he's human, he's going to slip. Most people do. He'll get back off again. And he'll get his shim. And he'll work hard at it. And I'm happy I saw his, uh, I saw the cat on there and I recognized the cat right off the back. Ah, fuck, he's back. Shit, cool. Cool, I got a good story. Women. And I know women. Can you fathom leaving a baby, a four-year-old and a five-year-old, leaving them, getting in a car and driving away? Now, not just leaving as going to the hotel to meet the other man, uh, meet Sancho. No, not, not meeting Sancho. 
she had to find her father. She had to find her father. And she would argue with her sisters, my, this is my mother, and they probably have all the information too. They probably know, they probably know too about this whole thing. And my mom had left because she had to find her father. It was that important to her. And she had lived a rough life. She, well, she had a good mom, good you know, grandma, grandpa, all, you know, and they had good, you know. But she was just always been a rowdy person. She just never could fit in 100%. She, she, so my dad said that she, you know, she had some, you know, problems. That, and he won't go specific. He would. He don't know him. Say he would He's not gonna put down his ex-wife and my, our mom. You know, he's not gonna do that. You know, he told us about some places that he, he met her. You know, I'm not gonna give that away on camera. But um, but yeah, he said she's always been. You know, oh, she was a little different kind of a person. And she was so different that she left my dad. It's almost as if she chose my dad to raise her children, and then, then she left. She saw something in him that could raise children. I don't know. I don't know what they did. That's weird. But I do know that she left, because she told me this when I saw her the second time. Now, she left her children. Can you fathom that, ladies? Leaving your children. Leaving them. With, if you had been fighting with your husband and you're both angry and he's an asshole, you're going to steal your child and go. You're not going to leave your child with that guy. So she didn't hate my dad. She left us with him. Like, here, raise my children. And she left. Took the car, took all the money, and left. And she had to find her father. That's what she said. She had to find her father. Now, everyone was like, well, now she ran off. She's out with another woman, or she's doing... She told my dad she left to find her father. She has to find him. And that father is the descendant of the prince or the king of Wales. The original. Back 60, I don't remember. I gotta look it up. Everything's fucking changed now. Dates, times, fucking balloons in goddamn Oregon. Balloons. World War II. What? Statue of Liberty was tacked. <laughs> Yeah, I just, I don't know what's real anymore. I know what I know, what my dad told me, and what I wrote in my book, and all that information. So, I am having a great time with the Mandela Effect, getting you off opiates, and romanticizing the idea that this motherfucker is your king in England. <laughs> if you're in England, and you don't like the corruption that's going on? You, you smell it? You know that? You put your boots on because that shit's getting fucking taut and thick. If you guys know how bad something is, if you want a new king, let me know. Kick him out of there. Look at my shit. Look at my history stuff. Help me out. Fuck. Ask for blood sample. I'll do whatever you guys want, man. If you guys really want me to be your king over there, I'll do a good job. I'm not that much of an asshole, guys. I go to work every day. I work in a museum. I'm a professional. I'm at home. When I come home, I relax. I relax. I read. I write. I make videos to help people get off narcotics. It's turned into a hobby because I've got... My old rule was, is if there's one person that needs me to make a video, I have to make a video to get them off narcotics, things that kill you, opiates, These things are changing, they're moving, we're getting changes going on, so everything, everything's rebooting itself, people, rebooting itself, it's like, we're not on blue screen, we're not on the blue death theme or dead screen, blue dead screen, the, the screen of death, blue screen of death, <laughs> Blue screen of death. Ah, that's when everything's fucking gone, man. You're like, ah. There's no blue screen of death. It's more like it's just got a new program.
it changes as I change. Because I'm a human being, I'm real, and I'm the king of England. Oh. I'm gonna have like my own like king garden, man. I'm not shitting you guys. England, guys, um, let me know, man. I can be your king. I can fucking grow hot, right? We'll hang out. We'll go hunting. I know there's a lot of property there, right? Fuck, I can make my own rules. Shit, moonshine. Oh, God. England will be the moonshine. Fuck, capital of everything of the world. Oh, we would be the best. Because I'd be in charge. <coughs> I'll wear some royal clothes. I'll wear, like, Scott. I'm Scott. I'll wear the I'll wear kilt. Shit. I'll look cool. No, I got a kilt in my garage. I wear kilts. Shit, that's nothing, man. So, things are going on. Everybody's getting stronger. Everybody's staying strong. Everybody's staying positive. Everybody's staying happy. <laughs> We're not freaking out. And I gotta put a little thing out there, and I'm not gonna bullshit you guys. I slammed that girl, that cat, cat, Yashua, Awe, whatever. I slammed her, but I used, I didn't know that her Queen Elizabeth's name was in the Bible. The new one, I didn't know that. So she made my, uh, what do they call that? Uh, synchronicity list. Well, cat is part of my synchronicity list. She's. I don't dislike her. <laughs> I gotta say thank you to her. I was like, she made my synchronicity thing. I was mad at her sight. I said something stupid, and then blah, 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 and then here we go. Shing, 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 bam. What? Oh, I like what she says right there. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that either, shit. I don't think there's no game, is I? Things changing because we got a new king, right? Why else would her name be in there? Why would the King James Bible, King James Bible, have her name in it? It's like saying something to you. Like, you need, uh, like, uh, he has a son, he has a son, 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 Thank you, my daughter. It's time for your brother to take over. That's what it's saying. I make shit up, because I smoke weed on camera. And I want to get you off, to kill you. So we have fun, right? We have fun. I hope this makes it out. I do, guys, I really do. I hope it does. I'll smoke a little bit with this with you guys, and we'll knock it off. And that's two nights, fancy, um, really high expensive stories. Hey, if you guys are out there, you can help me out, man. You can like do some research and stuff, and then um, get me in, get me in that um, castle. I mean, if you're, if you're not working, you're kind of bored, you're just chilling out. And I know there's like guys out there that have the intelligence, and they have like they're in intelligence, and they can like find out shit. And I'll give them whatever information. Well, I don't want I, if I trust you. I only trust like two, two, three people. So anyway. Yeah, let's get me that freaking castle. I'm the legitimate uh, great, 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 great grandson of uh, the King of Wales. God damn, it's good pot. I'm serious.